many times in the interview the interviewer will try to check your basic knowledge are you strong with the basic knowledge and they might ask you a couple of questions which you might have not guessed so in this exercise today i am going to bring you such a question and check yourself if you know the answer or are you capable of designing the simple workflow which requires your basic knowledge so let's get into the exercise okay so here is the interview scenario guys so let me read it for you so that because there is a lot of text let me read it and explain you and once you understood pause the video and continue to design your workflow okay so let's start here is the question that the interviewer might ask let's say there is an array which contains okay let's say there is an array which contains names of various objects getting it so there is an array which contains the names of various objects let's consider to make it easy let's consider an array variable let's say the array variable name is array of objects this is the name of the array which is a string right it contains all the strings pen mobile pencil charger key so it's called contains names of various objects so this array is containing pen mobile pencil charger key so there are some five elements which are there inside the array okay simple all right you will ask so the task for you you will ask user to type any one object name for example the uh, you will give a input dialog box to the user and you will ask enter a object name okay and let's say the user is entering pencil the moment he enters pencil design a workflow which will show the index number of the entered object in the array so let's say whatever i am entering let's say i am entering pencil it should say hey the object the the, uh, the name pencil or the object that you have typed pencil which is available in the index number 2 because index starts from 0 right 0 1 2 so it will just say the index number of that object is 2 getting it so uh, understand uh, items you have kept in a array or in a stack you want to say where is the book where is the pencil so you point out right there in the number 3 row number 3 you have that book so similar way this is more of similar logic which is asking you can you design a workflow which will identify the index number of that object which is there inside the array is the question is clear okay i want you to pause here and if you can do this please do comment simply type yes simply type yes you don't have to type anything else simply type yes so i know that you have you are able to complete this exercise okay in case you have some doubts you want to follow the video you can continue with me i am going to create i am going to design myself this workflow in case you want to see that even you can continue to watch the video so let's start okay so our question is quite clear what we need very good first thing i'll use a input dialog box okay i have to ask the user to enter a enter the name of the object right so i will say select object index number finding okay and here i will say enter the object name so there are so many things you can say if the user is typing wrongly what to do so there are so many other you know other questions can be asked but here the question is the interviewer wanted to know do you know how to find that index number it's so very simple right okay let's design and the first thing i have to do is i'll create a array so what i will do i can create a array in the variable panel itself or you can use a assign activity also it's up to you so let me create it over here okay so i'm creating a variable and uh, the name of the array should be array of object okay and here this should be array of string okay and what are the names 
okay so one was book you can give your own name let's say you don't want to follow that you can give your own set of names but let me do it book another one was mobile another one was um, a pencil and the one was charger and uh, the other one was uh, what was that even i forgot charger and key right okay so key. is it clear so i have created book comma space comma space array of object uh, okay so when you are creating a string what is the format guys it should be kept inside the double code right so let's put a double code for all of this okay charger putting a double quote and for the key okay so this is done so i have created a array of string now fine so this is created now what i want to do i'll use a for each loop okay and in the for each loop what i want to do i will run through this array of object so i will say array of object and the type argument because it's all string data right so i'll select string done so it will loop one by one one by one it is going to loop through all the objects now i have to use a if condition okay and i will say whatever the user is entering so here in the input dialog box if the user enters something that should get stored in a variable so let me create a variable um, i will say user input okay so the user input it's going to contain that and the type of it should be string okay fine so once it enters once the user enters that data will be stored in user input now what i will do it here user input okay i'll put a condition user input is equal to item so if user input pencil when it iterating through that array when it finds pencil when that match comes if that match comes then i will use a message box and here i should if they are asking you to design sometimes they will take remote they will say okay show us how how you can do it so if you are asked to do such things you should be in a quick way to demonstrate your skills okay so here is the answer so what i should do it here and you can do it in much better way you can enhance you can put little more logic so here in the message box what i am doing i am going to write an expression okay so here this is very important so let's have a look so what i will do i will use simply say array okay array do you see this so click on array dot i want to find the index so there is something called index of clear then put code then it is saying array as array so what is the name of your array so the name of the array is array of objects right this is the name of your array okay if not you can always check that let's check that keep the variable panel open so that you can ensure whatever you are writing the spellings are correct okay okay so array of objects not s it's only object here right okay array of object and then what should i do i should put a comma and whatever user is selecting so that will that will be there in the variable called user input right so as per the user input where let's say user has entered pencil so pencil array of object is the array name comma pencil so here the variable is containing it's dynamic right dynamic way of doing so here the user in input will contain that input let's say pencil so here it what it will do array of index this method or this simple formula when you type array dot index of array of object comma user input it will automatically find that number okay so what would happen here you can customize this little bit so how will you customize let me write a message so i will say the index of of 
give a space give a plus sign and i will say user input so it will say the index of whatever let's say pencil then give a plus sign are you getting it the index of plus user input give a plus sign then i will say is and i'll put a give a little space input close it and give a plus sign okay by just by writing this it will automatically this index user input is plus array of index so and so and then because the array of index is a number right so what i will do here i'll put dot to string okay done everything is perfect so let's test our workflow if it is working fine or not so let's debug it are you getting it it's pretty simple but if such questions are asked if you are not answering then you are gone your interview is completely gone so they will know that you don't know the simple things right so you have to be aware enter the object name so what is the enter object name let's say i am going to enter let's say book so the book is at the first one right so it would say zero so book okay the index of book is uh, zero so what is the problem here the book and is doesn't have a space so how will you rectify that so you can customize okay various way uh, how the user will know what is there in the array you can show them right so all those things you can do okay it's it's going through the entire loop you can break it over here okay after that you can come out of come out of that loop it doesn't have to go through if it so all these thing designings are you can do you can customize it no no problem but here the objective is, is that do you know it or not right do you know how to get it or do you think it's not possible they'll ask is it possible you will say no then you are gone right so they will say okay you don't know then so that's the trick so all you need to understand is you have to have a knowledge that's all is very important so this practical series is going to help you to build that knowledge which you need for an interview so if they are asking the simple questions but in the simple questions only you might fail they get to know or they'll get to know okay you are not aware of basic stuff right so this is very very interesting example continue with this playlist i am going to come up with more such interesting examples that could turn your career thank you guys continue to watch all our playlists and let us know anyone who has got a job and our channel has helped you in some way please do comment and let the entire world know thank you guys have a great day bye bye